Hello, and welcome back to Resident Evil 6, where today we're going to get started on Chris's campaign. See what he's been up to since Resident Evil 5. My cat is making it very hard to control this stream. See, I've got my desktop serving as the computer that I use to actually play the game and stream it and all that. But controlling the stream on YouTube, I've got my laptop set up next to me because I've only got the one monitor for my desktop. So, yeah, with my laptop here, my cat is able to put her paw on the trackpad and activate multi-touch gestures. And uh, some of those make it near impossible to control things. In fact, she only partially activated one gesture when I was trying to actually start the stream, which set my computer into this weird limbo state where, like, it was trying to to transition to some other state. But it only just barely started, so I couldn't see what was happening, and nothing was being responsive at all, so... Yeah, good job, Cat. You did it. Anyway, we're just gonna sit here at this title screen for a little bit. While we wait for the clock to roll over to 2 o'clock Pacific. Which will be in about two minutes. So, Chris's campaign, which we're going to be going into today, feels like a much better fit for Resident Evil 6 gameplay-wise. Like, the game systems and Chris's systems work together a lot better than the game systems and Leon's systems. And just the design in general, it feels more like they're playing to Resident Evil 6's strengths. Whereas Leon's campaign, at least for part of it, they were trying to retain some of the Resident Evil series uh, feel. They didn't do a great job of it, but they were trying. Resident Evil 6. Oh yeah, for Chris... We get to just embrace the action. Which is really what they've been using Chris for pretty much since Resident Evil Code Veronica. And now it's time to get going. Chris time. Uh-oh, there's a spidery thing. Another round. Oh. 
Hard to find a good steak around here. Not like back home. Fill her up. You've had enough. Listen, sweetheart. You're here to pour drinks and look pretty. So how about you shut your mouth? I bet you get the hell out of my bar. Nowhere to go. Hey, Dama was here to molly la da odete. I said she asked you to leave. Never thought I'd find Chris Redfield wasting away in a shithole like this. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Piers. Piers Nivens? Never heard of you. How about this? You heard of this? What is that? You really don't remember anything, do you? Bioterrorism. Bio. You can't hide from your past, Chris. No matter where you go or what you do. Who are you? What is this? Okay. You don't remember me? Well, how about that? Look. I said look! Those were your men. Men who died under your command. You owe it to them to remember, Chris. If you walk away now, then this was all for nothing. Damn it. Six months of searching for you. And this is what I find. It's where you belong. Everyone's waiting. Everyone. We're taking you back, Captain. One way or another. I can't keep running away. I have to face the truth. Accept responsibility. That's the only way I'll ever remember. The only way I'll get my life back. HQ to Alpha Team. No change to your mission. Suppress the bioterror outbreak while proceeding to Point Ace of Spades. Roger that. Share your drop on the Ace Plus. We'll make our way to the Ace of Spades and find those UN workers. So, we're starting off already in China. Also, Chris is an amnesiac. Diamond 3, moving in to engage. No, I can't. HQ copy. Can't help but feel like using playing cards as code names for places Follow my lead. would get really cumbersome after a while. on the scene. Excuse me, can I get a comment, please? Excuse me. Is this outbreak related to the situation back in the States? Is the PSAA involved there as well? 
look at this. Come on, my target is ahead. Come in, HQ. Group four is a mix of civvies and hostiles. Got anything else? Well, that's a problem. You son of a. Alpha team, switch course from Route Four to Route Niner. Head to the destination through the building and the Six of Clubs. HQ to all teams. Alpha is en route to Ace of Spades. After they rendezvous with Delta, we will proceed with the operation as planned. Dang, just giving us a green and a red right away, huh? shooting they're killing unarmed civilians they're gonna really love us Roger. <laughs> it's healing itself So, Jawavo are the Plaga-infected dudes that were in Resident Evil 5. So apparently we still got them around. That's not good. No, no it is not. Wow, they really want us looking at that helicopter. Mess. Alpha team, proceed along Route Niner. Take a back alley to get to the Ace of Spades. Captain, still trying to wrap my head around what I'm seeing here. And the chatter. Are you ready? So why can I go back here? Are we going to be fighting something that we need to get around? Chris is a strong boy. Uh, apparently so is that guy. Where'd the enemy go? Oh, he's gone. be using our assault rifle as little as possible because I remember the first time I played I used it pretty liberally and regretted it when I came up against a boss and had to basically pistol it down
It's not all clear. There are boxes. Everyone knows that a box left alone can be lethal. us to go over there, but this way is blocked because, of course, we can't climb up onto this chest-high dumpster and then hop over that. Nope. We gotta go around. moves, buddy. Hey, Wolfkinson. Yes, this is Chris's story. Since you weren't here at the beginning, I'll tell you, he is an amnesiac. He was discovered in Eastern Europe, having forgotten everything about the BSAA and his past life and all that. But his buddy Piers here showed up and was like, Hey, look at all these pictures of guys that you lost on ops. You gotta do it for them. And, and so he's doing it for them, even though he doesn't remember them at all. He's got enough eyes. is still a strong boy. Wow. Fear's grabbing him like that. Kind of made him uh, teleport. Man, you are noisy. Not that they ever said it you in two. Resident Evil Stay 5. Here and tend to the wounded. Outside of like HQ. files. Alpha team reporting. I got four of us heading along Route Niner. But uh Joavo were the enemies in Resident Evil 5, the standard Plaga dudes. So yeah, we got those here in China, apparently. Yeah, Wolfkinson, he's only missing his regular memory, not his muscle memory. Enemy. 
Enemy sighted. Find cover. Take that plant. needs cover when you can use fist and foot. I mean, I do. My health is getting low. I don't think this tree deserves to live. it weird that the game thinks it needs to tell us what serpent emblems are for every single time we break one. Well, that can't be good. HQ to Alpha. We've lost contact with the recon unit. Proceed with extreme caution. didn't last long. Our buddies keep on killing dudes before I can actually do the melee follow-ups. Oh, uh, we can't slide through the boxes. gotta wonder where the BSAA gets all its agents. Because every op we've ever seen has had a horribly low survival rate. stamina. Making sure there's no boxes I left behind. Hello, boxes. Don't mind me, sir. Okay. Ahead is the ace of spades. 
The UN staff that have been taken hostage are inside. Proceed with extraction. Big transformation when he was one shot away from dead. Honestly, why don't I just let the NPC dudes do all the shooting for me? They're doing a great job. Wow, this camera has interesting ideas of where to point. We regrouped and are awaiting new orders. Things aren't going too well over at the Three of Diamonds. They need you down there. Roger that. I have too much rifle ammo. Ah, ladder. So I guess I should use my rifle. I've been avoiding it because I recall a time from my first playthrough when I uh, overused the rifle and regretted it during a boss fight. Wow, he made a big deal of falling two feet. Um, well, he sure instantly transformed into whatever the hell that is. Well, that didn't go as planned. I guess the muscle memory saved me there. Hey, Pierce, I'm taking a little fire here. I saved your ass. You want to return the favor? Yeah, please do. My health is running a little low. They keep coming from. Pierce, can I get some cover? No problem, Captain. Good 
Goodbye. Looks like I should be able to jump over to that and then climb up. Oh well. HQ Bravo. Alpha needs to move out of the way to space. Can you relieve them? Right. Coming in from the four parts. En route to assist. some distance here. Nice shot, Piers. These guys do a great job of putting up their shield and yet still not guarding their faces. Um, hi, sir. that guy even over there? Is that even a place I can go? I don't think it is. <laughs> Unless I can like hop up here and then up here, but no. So I, are those bullets unobtainable, I guess? I guess so. this thing that's a lot of ammo I'm sorry am I standing on something that's on fire what what's with the fire texture on this oh uh, sorry Pierce maybe you shouldn't have waited directly under me How many antennas does one building need? Is it that many? I don't think it's that many. Just the two of us then. 
No, it's interesting. In Leon's campaign, we didn't really fight enough enemies with guns. But in Chris's campaign, we fight a lot of them, clearly. And if they manage to, I don't know, get a critical hit or something, you get knocked straight on your back. It's one of the few games with gun-toting enemies I can think of where you can get a critical hit on them, a critical headshot, and they can get a critical hit on you. Goodbye. Well, I wonder what we can use that for. Oh, should we have used it earlier? Maybe. It's not entirely about different game... Well, I guess, kind of. Yeah, uh, Wolfkinson, it's Chris more than... HQ. We're at the Ace of Spades. Copy that. Each campaign has Bravo different team has enemies. Been dispatched to assist with search and rescue. Stand by for instructions. And the different enemies do... I needed a break. The different enemies do at least somewhat contribute to having different gameplay styles. We've been spotted. They're right on top of us. Can't shoot out the searchlight. HQ to Bravo team. Alpha team surrounded by hostiles. Get to the ace of spades on the double. I have ten grenades. I have 10 grenades again. Roger that. Wow, freaking flying here. gunners? Well, that gets rid of them. Sir, you made a mistake. Chris's campaign is much more action-y than the rest, as you might be able to tell already. Well, I guess not more action-y than the rest, but more action-y than Leon's. That much is for sure. How many of these assholes do we have to kill? Like, the fact they start the him off with an assault rifle and a handgun tells you about all you need to know about what they expect out of it. Leon never threw dudes at other dudes. All BOWs have been eliminated. Alpha team, help Bravo team dude, get, get the out cities of the way. out of there. Get out of the way, dude. I, I need that. Get out of the way!
HQ to Alpha. We have your mission brief. Rescue the hostages on the first and seventh floors, then get out of the building. As soon as all teams are clear, we will commence bombing. Well, still reloading your gun after getting shot in the face, huh? Or rather, having your head shot off. We cleared the place out of loot. Well, it looks like we're going down, not up. So wait, we could have gone further down. And it seems that this is the way we're supposed to go, so what's down? Aha! A loot room that is, uh, collapsing. No, not for handgun ammo. Now, if it was, say, a red herb, then I'd make some room. Flash grenades are useful against Joavo, but so are bullets. I guess it's a good thing I explored. Really holding up the op, but, uh... Chris has been at this long enough, they trust him. skill points. Uh, 
Ah. They're spiders now. Sorry, Pierce. are just up ahead of you. Eliminate the hostiles in there and get those people out of there. Uh, what I thought of the story's two news was I'm glad that they're supporting the game so much after launch. Though it's interesting that like half of the content that they're adding post-launch is content that was in Stories 1. Alpha here. Roger that. We're going for it. Um, excuse me? Here's aiming at a wall isn't going to help. Okay, so I guess it's hide and seek now. So are they all still upstairs? like a flash would probably be particularly helpful right now when they've got hostages that I assume we want to not shoot. Alpha to HQ, seventh floor hostage security. Oh, is there one hostage on each floor then? Where's the other hostage? Above you. You need to move quickly. So, uh, the flash was highly effective. Delta 2's HQ. I'd love the hostages another one. On the top floor are secured. I'm leaving the building now. anything. I mean, a hand grenade is a something. It's just not a something I can use. I'm really trying not to shoot the hostage. Okay, Chris, you're going to have to not be so dramatic about your uh, slamming the butt of your rifle on the ground. 
Hey, I didn't shoot the hostage somehow. Copy that. There's one more on the first floor. Also, Wolfkinson, the uh, the mystery boss that they didn't want to show us is also from Stories 1. They showed us a silhouette for, like, two frames. And it's exactly who you would think that a mystery boss that they're not going to tell us about in the Monster Hunter game is. Ah, yes, when a building is collapsing, the elevators are usually very safe. Delta 1 to HQ. All hostages on the 15th floor are secured. Leaving the building now. Okay, that just leaves us. It stopped. Now what? Uh, get out of it before it falls. I can get through the ceiling if you give me a hand. Roger! I do want... Oh, just now? You're getting that feeling just now. Uh, you know what feeling I'm getting? The feeling like one bullet shouldn't have knocked Chris down like that, but whatever. There. Follow me. Far too many. So apparently, flashes do not themselves kill the spider dudes. But they do make them rather easy to dispatch with feet.
Why does handgun ammo stack so much higher than rifle ammo? Like, if these could stack to have, like, 120 bullets, it would be so much better. This is Delta 2 on clear of the building. HQ here. Copy that. Alpha is still on premises. Bombing will start once they're clear. be good. It was not worth my time. I'm going in. I'm Ready? Saved her. First floor hostage secured. Copy that, Alpha. Now clear out of there. All right, let's clear out of here. With bombing. Uh, maybe say you're clear when you're a little bit farther from the building. Shit, we're trapped. What the hell do we do now? I don't know. HQ to Alpha. You can get out on the third floor. There's a balcony on the west side of the building. Get moving. Yeah, for reals, don't say, oh, we're clear. Go ahead and start the bombing. When you're not more than like two feet outside the building preparations to bomb the building are complete planes have been scrambled we don't want to be here when those birds show up oh really <laughs> Started a little early there. Okay, um, gotta go this way. Hey, uh, you okay? Oh, that's me. I'm, I'm sorry. I was following the arrow, and suddenly I'm dead. Hang on, there's boxes here. I didn't leave boxes. I probably shouldn't have left, or shouldn't have gone for them anyway. Though. There, go around it. Roger. There. Yeah, okay. All right, come on, Pierce. Let's go. Use both sticks to wiggle. Come on. Maybe you should continue leaving. Oh, that's an issue.
So there's chapter one. And now we have access to more skill loadouts. Unfortunately, you can still only have three skills equipped at a time. It's a shame all of the skills that are actually really interesting are so expensive. Well, let's just get better at firearms. Why not? We can equip that in place of team up. So with firearm level two, I believe that makes it so our firearms do 50% more damage. Like, it's something huge, and then when you get to level 3, I think it is double damage. months earlier. He was running recon alone. Listen up. The BSAA, our job is to rid the world of bioterrorism. The only way we're going to do that is by sticking together. Nobody's expendable. Exactly. Now, each and every one of you may be ready to die for our cause, but it's my job to make sure we all get through this alive. Suck it up, Finn. Sorry, sir. No one gets left behind. Not on my watch. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Except Finn, for... Give us the update. Yes, sir. Except for all of you except Pierce. The gorillas are using a new species of B.O.W. Command is calling them Juavo. They are extremely intelligent, incredibly strong, and have the ability to mutate in response to physical trauma. I thought Juavo was right. You know the drill. Firing five. Split into three teams. Move out. You got it, sir. Yes, sir. I guess if they're new, they're new. You're the rookie, huh? Yes, sir. Finn McCauley, sir. I know you're nervous, Finn. Team's got your back, okay? Yes, sir. I'll give this everything I've got. Is he always this awesome? So, in a very weird gameplay-ism, we have brought our inventory from Chapter 1 back in time with us. Stop getting shot. Is there an alternate path? Did I just get shot through a wall?
Yeah, Wolfkinson, what we are currently witnessing is the event that immediately preceded his amnesia. I don't know why I'm trying to fight that with bullets. Oh, because I've got no other real option. Cool. You know what? I think... Not trash. Use. Um, hi, sir. Did I just push him through the species HQ railing? warning us about? Bullets don't even phase them. They say they're no more class of enemy. Buddy, where are you going? Well, I I walked into that quite literally. What do you mean bullets don't even phase them? You shoot them in the head once, and then you can grab them and throw them, throw them at their friends. Supposed to take out the fuel pump before you drive away. I didn't know they came in extra large. How many new species are there? So my boat back is in here, I guess so. time I played Chris's campaign, I was completely out of rifle ammo at this point, so I had to fight this thing with a handgun. And that was, as you would imagine, not ideal. to be able to like climb up him and do a thing. Yeah, I guess not. Guess that stagger was just an opportunity to do lots of shooting of the weak point. And I threw that chance away. out of his back because he his back has spikes of course and then shove it back into him oh 
Oh, I guess Alpha we scared him away. Our route's blocked by a BOW. Change course from Route 1 to Route 4. Those things are enormous! I didn't know BOWs could get that big! They're giving them new stuff. They can make any kind of freak show they want. And now to grab the loot. Wouldn't do to leave it behind. Hey, Drake, great. Yeah, that's kind of the kind of a thing the Resident Evil franchise did, especially leading up to Resident Evil 6. And yeah. Resident Evil 6 runs almost entirely on the rule of cool, so you will see lots of things that are very unrealistic, shall we say. Tried and failed. I'll use the APC to get through that fence. Please do. Look at that guy going in circles. This guy's got a bigger shield than most. But no shield can stand against Chris's arms. Truly, they are the strongest weapon in the game. Got enough of these. How'd you get up there, sir? I I was up there and no one was left. Oh, cool! Now he's a drinking flyer. completely different dude from the last one. What gives? Are they spawning up there? Is that their breeding ground? Mid, get over here. I need you to blow this fence. I'm on it, sir. Setting charges now. Are, are you setting charges? Uh, you don't seem to be here yet. Now you're setting charges. I don't think you really needed two charges for that fence. I think one would have been fine. Well, would you look at that? There's a train car blocking the way. This route you don't go. Um, I'll blow the car and clear a path. I need you to cover me till I get it set.
Did I just survive a rocket propelled grenade through virtue of ladder invulnerability? Let's not have you transforming, buddy. Ow. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you and your RPG to die. How much longer, Finn? Almost done! probably aim before pulling the trigger next time. Recoil made it a little tougher to get my bullets back down there. Thank you for missing, sir. Um, I... Gee, thanks. That rocket guy would have been dead if he... If, if Finn didn't say, hey, get some cover, blah, blah, blah. Like... I need you to cover me till I get it set. I don't get to do things during those little cutscenes, but enemies do. It has caused many problems for me during this run. And the other thing that has caused problems for me during this run is my partner not coming to rescue me. Seriously, where the heck even was he during that time? bounced off something. There's a train car blocking the way. This route should no go. Yeah, yeah, we get Pull it by now. I need you to cover me till I get it set.
shoot this again. I need to be more vigilant of rockets. How much longer, Finn? Almost done! This is literally your fault. I mean, clearly the game doesn't want me going over there by myself. Clearly. There's a train car blocking the way. But like, if this was multiplayer, Piers would definitely be hanging out with me for sure. So, I'm sorry. What? can't just nail a guy with a rocket the moment he has control. That is rude. So where the hell even is Pierce? Pierce, where are you? Uh, nope, that's not fine, Pierce, but where is Pierce? Because you're not Pierce. Where is Pierce? That's Pierce, hanging out up there, by himself, never coming down. Because he just doesn't want to come down here, even though the game, like, it clearly Hang intends for us to come out here. There's boxes and a serpent emblem. So, like, it clearly expects the player to come over here. But if the player comes over here in single player, then it just rockets you to death and your partner will never come to help you. Like, shouldn't the partner AI have, I don't know, something that says, hey, maybe go support the player instead of hanging out up on this ledge where you absolutely can never do that? Especially when we don't have, say, a sniper rifle. I guess he's got a sniper rifle. I don't have a sniper rifle. Much longer, Finn. Almost done. Honestly, the only problem with this segment here is the AI. Like. The enemy placement and design is fine. It's just, if you're playing solo, the AI is absolutely of no help. Does this count as some cover? It better, because Piers is hanging out over here. What counts as grabbing some cover, game? 
If it's ready to blow, then just blow it. Does in here not count as cover? What counts as cover, game? You tell me to grab some cover, but where is cover? Game, please. Where is cover? What do you consider to be cover? How ready to blow is it? Okay, we just both had to come stand directly in front of it. I see. That's very cover. Especially when we had to wait for our NPC partner to come down, which he only did in response to us standing there. Thanks, game. That was just super great use of AI. HQ to Alpha Team. City Hall's on the other side of the bridge. Pick up Bravo and move in. What's the status? Any casualties? <laughs> We got a man down on the bridge. Take on the bridge! The whole thing is blocked off! Okay, people. Getting to the wounded is priority one. Of course. And honestly, it's probably better than eight bullets. Suddenly, I feel like we might not be getting him out. Captain! Over here! <laughs> Hurry, sir! How are you and Finn? How's our injured friend? Still with us. Going to administer first aid. Alpha team, come in. There's an old T-42 tank moving on your position. Looks like it's had some modifications. They're bringing out the big guns for us. Be careful, Captain. So, uh, what happened to the sniper fire that was going to be coming? Can't help but feel like uh, I could I'm gonna need use a bigger it. Gun. Captain, if you draw the tank out of position, I can take care of that truck. Well, I'm glad my cover counted there. Having a clear right shot. Here. Let's go. He was saying that literally as he was shooting the thing. Oh. 
drink great. We are currently fi fighting against generic BOWs in Edonia, a fictional European country. I'm heading for the upper level of the bridge. Meet me up on top. Yeah, this is just generic bioterror incident number 5378. Those cars just disappeared. Hello, sir. Good, Pierce. Do I need to go down there? Oh, I need Pierce, to kick this. Way. Lower the ladder. Come on up. Sorry to keep you waiting, Pierce. All right. Whenever you get here, Pierce. tell do we keep the bridge secure from one of those I did not press the screenshot button. Time to get to work. We need to cut off the reinforcements. I want you to blow How the did bridge. a screenshot get yes, taken? Sir. Like, my thumb was nowhere near the screenshot button. It was on the left stick.
Okay, I've fallen back and found cover. Captain, we've got a railway gun in play. Let it come as close as you can before you blow the charges. Mid, it's all on you now. Roger that. I mean, the railway gun's been there the whole time. Jerry Birkin, you were in Raccoon City. How do you know that? Claire. Wait, are you Chris? My sister's told me all about you. Chris, the man is a wanted insurgent. Yes, he's a mercenary, but right now he's under the protection of the US government. He's no threat to the BSAA. Unless someone pays me to be. What did you just say? What? Nothing. HQ to Alpha Team. Reinforcements are unable to land due to anti-aircraft artillery. Take them out. Alpha Team copy. What? We're picking up a large bogey on radar. It's heading right for you. Look who's back. Take care of him for you. Oh, sure, I shoot him in the face, and he's just like, ow, my face. But he shoots me in the face, and I fall down. I need you to distract that giant BOW. I can't work with that BOW around. Chris, we'll take care of one of those big ones. Is that even charges now? to anything that he can lean against, so... You say distract him, but the most I can do is flinch him for a bit. Okay. Gladly. Can't I jump down? 
Chris, Leon would have jumped down and you know it. Wow. You some kind of idiot? Shame I can't, like, climb up this guy without being up there, which I am not. There's a ladder. Shame he's gonna be no longer flinched by the time I get up there. Yep. Cherry, why didn't you hop on him? You totally could have. Alright, so now he's gonna flinch over here. And we can hop up on here. Yank out one of his spikes again. And give it back. Using his own body against him. We'll do it again. Why not? Shame Chris doesn't jump back up to the higher ledge. right back on there. I wonder how many times we have to do that before it dies. I wonder if we even can kill it right now. Um, I think we have discovered the answer. Gross. Um, sir. Well, no more giant BOW. So let's go get rid of these anti air turrets. Oh, is that it? You just don't open this until I get next to it? Sorry if you're photosensitive. I'm setting charges oh, on the anti aircraft he's gun. Just now. already it's dead. Take huh? a while. See if you can find me some time. Just need a little more time. Okay. I mean, we got basically all the time in the world right now. Gonna grab him and throw him at his friend. I thought you were already setting the charges. Did you just have to restart charge setting? Doesn't look like it. Your meter's still most of the way full. You 
done? Okay, does this count as back? Of course there is. down like over there yes yes I can is there any benefit to hopping down like over here apparently not I would love to get down there more quickly but I guess this is it hey Jake having fun Okay, I guess we're going into the underground passage then. Really? I haven't gotten any more freaking rifle ammo? We were swimming in this stuff earlier. Where is it all now? Interesting that the there's a big guy music is still playing even though we're down here where we can't see him, but apparently sometimes his shadow. Okay, I see why he can sometimes get his shadow now. Oh, hello. I guess uh, don't stand under the skylights, guys. Oh, you were not a friendly. You are the friendly. You know, basically every Resident Evil game prior to this one, if you saw a guy with, well, I guess also there was Resident Evil 5, but most Resident Evil games, if you see a guy who has a gun, that guy is a friendly. That is not true in this game. For a lot of this game, actually. And Resident Evil 5, it's not true. Basically only in the final section. So I know there was a ladder up. I'm just... I guess there's a ladder on... Two sides. Don't get yourself so punched, Sherry. Thank you. Okay. 
Thanks, Sherry. Oh, and you gave me two? You're so nice. Way better than that, Pierce. get it out which means we need him to be flinched over here like he is right now except we need him to be flinched in a place where we can actually freaking get to him to climb up him and pull it out Yeah, just run through the wall a little bit first. And now that that's exposed, we can actually, like, do real damage to it. Hey, Gratos. Of course, he got his shot off first. dead. No, it is not. Of course. Of course it collapses onto the other. I'm sorry. What? Thanks, Sherry. You're a lifesaver. we can't get between his dang legs and of course we get here right as the prompt disappears get that buddy Get out of the way. 
So yeah, we were literally in the process of delivering the killing blow when he said that we had to find a way to take it out. Good work out there, Alpha. Echo team will be landing shortly. Brody. Just nasty. Can I get the skill points? I already gave the pilot the coordinates. Thank you so much for your help. Hey. Hey. We met. Well, you jarheads all look the same to me, pal. Sorry. You've got to be kidding me. My mistake. Have a safe flight. Captain, we're crazy for letting him walk away. How many men have we lost to mercenaries like him? He's not our problem. We can't lose sight of the BSAA's mission. To fight bioterrorism, sir. I know what we're here for, rookie. Okay, spread out. Search this place top to bottom. How nice of them to hold the door open for us. Are these people? Just picking up life form readings. It's like they're in cocoons. Who's there? Side of this door. Okay, but what about Pierce, this door? Finn, you're with me. Everyone else keeps searching out here. HQ, three of us are splitting off from the group, heading further into the building. I'm glad the game is telling me every time what a serpent emblem does. I definitely would have forgotten by now, for sure. I see someone's taken up painting. Hey, we got a shotgun. Yet another thing to have its ammo take up inventory space. Um, just 12 of these bullets is worth trading for herbs. Okay, so in Leon's campaign, we had a room with a single urinal, but at least there was a stall. But here, we have another piss room. Why does Resident Evil like piss rooms? There's got to be more than just a urinal in the bathroom, people. See, here we've got a toilet, but it's all boarded up. Why? Is this the danger toilet? 
we can't free the toilet. It's it's trapped in there. It's got to it's got to pay for its crimes, I guess. One of them's hatching, sir. Call it into HQ. Roger. <laughs> Oh, that guy's big. Take that, papers. I'll leave it to Piers while I search for loot. I'm pretty sure I have heard the noise that it just made coming from, like, a Diablo. Now there's two of them. I've got so many grenades. I need to use them. Chris truly is a puncher of both bioweapons and boulders. Well, that one exploded. And this one didn't explode, but it did die. Oh, of course another one is coming. Because of course. Why don't I just use grenades on the freaking chrysalises? That seems like it would be the easier way to deal with these. Are we done in here? Search the rest of the place, but stay on your guard. Okay, so that door is not openable. Oh, never mind. Not openable by me. Your gun's more effective when you don't hide on the side of the door that it opens towards. Okay, so he can just shoot right through his friend. Got it. I mean, I guess so can I. I can shoot through my friends.
galaxy, unlike Leon with Chris, we have yet to find three freaking red herbs in a row before any greens. saying something about that what else did you hear maybe you could put your guns down not until you give us a reason to <sighs> neo umbrella neo umbrella the organization supporting the gorillas or at least i think that's what they were calling themselves so the sea buyers came from them and that's all i know Thank you. We appreciate your cooperation. Finn. You're in charge of keeping her safe. Yes, sir. Keep an eye on her. Will do. We found one of the staff. We're turning to the foyer now. Come on. I'll show you a quick way back to the entrance. Chris, it's pronounced foyer? too many let's let's just go i could fight them but i don't feel like it would be worth my There's time a way out on the second floor i suggest we take it oh. your friends are having a hard time ma'am please just try to stay out of the way Well, that's different. Oh! I wonder how... Weed. I wonder how they like grenades. I guess I won't get to find out. Like we got one. So, yeah, why do you think I'm trying to kill him? I mean, it'd be one thing if I hadn't killed any, but. These lizard things are annoying.
Why can't we destroy this before it becomes a problem? I could do there. Well, we know grenades work on these guys. Get their soft bits all exposed. As long as you've got ammo when they're standing up getting ready to shoot at you, you can just get rid of them. them down we're almost out just hold it together people yes sir yes sir okay guess we go this way oh hello crates basically worthless crates No good. Thanks for the escort. Here's something to remember me by. There's the cranial trauma that led to amnesia. Alright. 
Can we afford anything nice? Not really. So just away we go, I guess. Terrorists she in this city or not? She's been sighted several times since the attacks began. Yeah, she's here. Tell the men we're moving out. Yes, sir. Prior to this game, Ada was less a direct antagonist and more a person who had mysterious motives. And, uh, like, she never directly harmed people prior to this game. But in this game, I guess they decided, hey, let's, since Wesker's gone, let's have her be the villain. Oh, um, that's an issue. Damn invisible snakes! Alpha to HQ. We're engaging a hostile. Pierce, Marco, everyone on me. We're going after that thing. You heard the man, people. Let's move! Unfortunately, in that flashback chapter, we still used our modern ammo, so we are, uh, running low on stuff. Though, at least we managed to bring a shotgun forward or maybe uh, Chris just remembered he had one after the amnesia wore off for reals though damn invisible snakes goopy oh hang on there's a very important achievement. achievement. A very important achievement we can get here. Where is it? Do we got to do it more? I'll go five times. But what if it requires ten? Um, Chris. Chris. I like how we can faintly hear gunfire in the background. But nah, we just gotta ride this panda. So, was that four or five? Well, just one more. I'm beginning to think the achievement might be for ten. Oh well. We'll just leave it be then.
Hey guys, seen any invisible snakes around here? Roger. Move in, but be careful. <laughs> um, so I would love to move in, but you're kind of in the way, my dude. Where do you want me to move up? Sorry about that. Needed to talk to someone. But now let's get back to looking for this invisible snake. I'm sure it'll be easy to spot, what with how invisible it is. Uh-oh. Continuing to be rude. Cool, they're all those. So, uh, flashes don't do anything to you, huh? Buddy, get out of my way. Why are you all these things? I mean, at least those things aren't tough to deal with. They're just 
Gross. Missing six months ago in Adonia. Okay, but there's there's this helicopter. That's an armored chopper they brought in. We need to protect those two down there. Forget the chopper for now. Engage the Duavo. Okay. I can do this thing. Uh, provided I can find a way down. Found boxes. Those are like a way down. Okay, but for reals, where's my path down? Or am I not supposed to go down and I'm just supposed to be up here and shoot down at them? I guess that's an option. Captain, keep here. I can't reach those two on the radio. They're not responding. What should we do? Wipe out the hostile. After that, they're on their own. Hi, grasshopper man. Okay, shoot them in the glowing red butt and they get sad. Got it. Gotta get that grasshopper dude off the chopper. Like that. I've never seen a mutation like that before. Read. I'll blink a reading to HQ. Already on it, sir. Careful. These suckers can really jump. Oh, I'm trying. Um. Okay. So Piers is willing to hang out with me. That's good. So fun fact, Chris actually has a lot of segments like this where you got to defeat a bunch of enemies, blah, blah, blah. Most of the time, it's specifically about how many enemies you defeat. Like, you don't have to defeat every single enemy that spawns. And it's not about how long you hold out. It is specifically how many dudes do you kill? Tired of these chopper hops. Still got a few left. They have got quite the legs. Is it? I, I still see one left. I'd love to hit it, but the chopper's facing the wrong way. 
Chopper, please. Pulling back. That'd be too easy. Come on, keep moving. Captain, we should escort those two out of here. They'll never survive on their own. We're moving out. Let's go. We're gonna blow the door. Get ready. Interesting. Your legs are like like a grasshopper's. I don't care what they are, as long as they stay dead when you kill them. That actually is a real question in the Resident Evil universe. Does it stay dead when killed? Because, uh... Well, basically every main boss of a Resident Evil game, the answer has been no. Wow, we got one bit of ammo from all those crates. I hear a chopper. I'm sorry, that grenade launcher is floating above the ground, not actually on the ground. And so the is back. that guy's the corpse. HQ, come in! This is Alpha! The chopper is targeting us now! Everyone! Bring that chopper down and bring it down hard! Okay, Chris, he's on the floor. You need to, like, actually do something that hits people who are on the floor. Alright, so we gotta use this grenade launcher on that chopper, I am guessing. Uh, that chopper sure does have a rope full of people. Uh, when am I gonna get a shot at it? Chopper. could use it on that guy, but we need to save our grenades for the chopper because nothing else will work on it. You got another rope full of dudes now, chopper? Not anymore.
Captain, we can't let them go. Our mission is to terminate the BOWs. But Neo Umbrella is after I them. I said, we... our mission is to terminate the BOWs. Chris sure is grumpy. We're going after that BOW. It is not getting away with this. Captain, please, you need to think things through. Team to HQ. We're in pursuit of the target. Someone was playing Mahjong. Clear. I wish I knew enough about Mahjong to know who was winning, but I don't. I tried playing it in Clubhouse 51, but could not, for the life of me, have its rules actually pierce my brain. Also, game, could you tell me again what these serpent emblems are for? Oh, okay, thanks. That That's snake was visible. Who cares? That's not what we're after. Why won't this thing show itself? Wait, it's turned invisible? It is the target. I'm on it. Anytime, Pierce. Anytime. I don't know why the game sometimes automatically makes you have your weapon at the ready. Like, I was not pressing any buttons, but Chris pulled his gun out. Nah, Wolfkinson Mahjong is a four-player game. Find someone who will. Do you even hear yourself? Fall in line, soldier. You heard the man. Let's move. How are we supposed to drop this thing if we can't even see it? Shut up and keep moving. Uh, Chris, he's got a point. And again with the automatic pulling out of gun. Clear. Yeah, Chris, we're not shooting the painting. Damn it. It's not here either. Barber? Oh, dentistry. Ah, yes, because every dentist needs a chart reminding them, wait, what are these teeth again? Directly in front of the operating chair. 
Also, this is a freaking barber chair, not a dentist chair. What the heck? Does this even recline far enough to be good for dentistry? Shit's in the way. Give me a hand. Roger. Well, sucks to be him. Everyone, report in. Pierce here. I'm on the third floor. Captain! I can't find Jack! He's gone! Get a hold of yourself, Marco. Where are you? Second floor! Oh, shit. I think that thing's here! Target is on the second floor! You all need to come here now! But not before busting box. Oh. I probably missed a neat visual. Oh, well. And so all this tile tells me that this should be like a bath or shower room or something, but there's no toilet, there's no, there's no drain, there's no nothing. What room is that? Reed! God damn it. Well, this is a kitchen of some sort by the look of it, maybe. Mostly just judging by the table. So maybe that's like a walk-in freezer or something. You didn't leave any loot behind, did you? I mean, I know you did because the computer never grabs loot, but then again, it looks like there's a whole lot of nothing here. Roger! Oh wait, Piers was on the third floor. Wait, this is the third floor. Or wait. I don't even know. What's going on it's, it's yeah, we can see that, but now it's down below. Okay, we find that piece of shit and we put it down fast and hard. Here's. Wait for your landing to be clear, man. Poor bastard. Roger. <sighs> Where are you, you son of a bitch? The real question is why is it eating people when there's all these pigs here?
so why are you not shooting? Like, when its mouth is open like that, you can see it very clearly. Yeah, I know. That's why I was shooting. Ow. Save me! Don't die on me! I hope we don't need invisible serum for this invisible snake. And coming in here after it might not have been my best plan. Constrictor or a Viper? Make your make a choice, game. They're not the same thing. Suddenly we have ammo again. Not a lot, but some. It's gone. After it. Okay, after it where? Back through the hole? Oh, we got a door. Kind of interesting, actually, fighting this invisible snake. Help me! Especially with how it actually, like, how the laser pointers react to it. After it! Like, it's neat. You can tell that its invisibility is specifically a result of it, uh, refracting light, etc, etc. It's a neat effect. We have to go pull a lever. 
Okay, it's a little rude of you to do me like that. Marco. What, do I need timing? It's not just a case of pull lever receive victory. Captain, do it now! It, it's being done. Does it have to be under it when it starts? Otherwise it doesn't Captain, count? Do it I'd love to do it now. Hey, uh, Piers, maybe get back down there and lure it towards the zappy Doop. Captain, do it now! There. <laughs> we did it. We fried that son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, you lived. Good. Marco! Are you okay? Marco! Just got a little zapped. <laughs> I half expected Marco to get got by some other BOW as we were walking up to him. Okay. Wow, that is a very poorly insulated well, wire. At least we got it. But no Ada yet. I'm not gonna rest until we have her head on a stick. Roger. Crazy. It's not safe in here. We need to pull out. Captain! Looking for me, boys? Welcome to China. Ada! Wait! We've got no choice. We have to kill him. He'd do the same for us. Where'd all the bugs come from? Marco! You know, I thought grenades would have been more effective against a swarm. annoying. There. Uh, thanks for the C4, I guess? Chris, punching the floor won't help. Unless it's made of boulders.
Chris, we need to stay calm. After what she's done to us, how many of our men are dead because of that bitch? I'm right there with you, Captain. But your personal vendetta isn't gonna get us anywhere. If you hadn't been blinded by vengeance, we could have prevented some of those deaths. Shut up. Do you even care about our mission anymore? Shut up! I feel sorry for all the men that died believing in you. What happened to the legendary Chris Redfield, huh? What happened to you? It's a good thing Finn's not around to see you this way. I'm going after Ada. HQ, this is Alpha Leader. I need a location on Ada Wong. I'm going with you. Someone's got to keep an eye on you, whether you want them to or not. All right. This is HQ. We've got the location for you. Ada Wong has left the city and is heading south for the harbor. HQ to all teams. Target Ada Wong has been spotted heading south for the harbor. We want her alive. To the harbor we go, I suppose. You want to follow me around? Fine. Just make sure you stay out of my way. As long as you don't cross the line again, that won't be a problem. Ada's just playing with you. When are you going to realize that? I'm not stupid enough to fall for her bullshit. You I'm say sure while you're faith in your captain in the process of falling for her bullshit. Pierce. You okay, buddy? Is he ever going to get off that boat? Wow, got a critical headshot in one. Good job, Pierce. I guess game want me go this way for now. Because crates. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks for letting the enemy shoot me while I was still standing up from the last shot. You follow me around Had literally fight. nothing I could sure do. You stay out of my way. As long as you don't cross the line again, that won't be a problem. Ada's just playing with you. When are you going to realize that? I'm not stupid enough to fall for her bullshit. You should have a little more faith in your captain.
Hey, I got off before Piers ruined it this time. So we do have to pop up here. Even though hopping down here didn't really accomplish anything. shots. So, um, where's Fierce? Okay, he's coming. <laughs> it's kind of weird. This is like the first time we've had no music whatsoever in a combat section. Ada! There's the music. Captain, get a hold of your stuff. That uh. helo's about to open up on us. We're sitting ducks out here. We need to find cover. Damn it. Um, game. cares about machete man not me i'm just going keep moving oh seriously the pilot of this helicopter is an idiot we've only had one path to follow this entire time he could have just taken out the path in front of us and then the path behind us and then we'd be boned um we can just get me, to that building hopper dudes excuse you I'm... I'm sorry? Yes. How did that happen? Did I get too far behind or something? You gotta be kidding me. Don't talk, just run!
to that building. Um. Like, if, if we heard the sound of a rocket being launched and saw an explosion before the death, that'd be one thing, but it seems like we're just slipping through the pier and the game is deciding we are dead. It's like, it's not even I fell off the pier, it's I fell through the pier. Okay, so now he gets to fall through the pier. Thanks, game. Here, I thought I could let my CPU-controlled ally actually be self-sufficient because he had been on every previous attempt. But this time, nah. You gotta be kidding me. Don't talk, just run. You okay, Pius? We can just get to that building. Great. Super great. So I think it's that the big enemy is like grabbing them or something. Because every time we've died, it's been because the big guy was near one of us. You gotta be kidding me! I assume. Don't talk, just run. So who knows? Maybe I need to actually shoot it or something to make sure that we can both get past it. Keep moving! Okay, yeah, I just, I just phased through the floor just then. This is not great. You gotta be kidding me. Don't talk, just run! Keep moving! This is, uh, bothersome. Don't 
Don't talk, just run. <laughs> Keep moving! You doing good back there, Pierce? I hope you are. If we can just get to that building! Okay, both of us made it past the big fella. So we should be fine, right? Alpha to HQ. We got a visual on Ada Wong. We're in pursuit. This is HQ. Ada Wong has been spotted moving down the canal. Charlie and Delta teams form a perimeter around Ku Cheng. All right, we can drop that chopper from here. <laughs> You know, I keep my grenades inside priceless urns as well. Because that's just where to keep them. Thanks for stepping on my keyboard just then, Cat. Definitely didn't cost me a shot. I mean, yeah, just standing in the line of fire, probably not the best idea. You okay there, Pierce? Oh, hello, you. Hey, Pierce, you want to get out of the doorway? Anytime you want to stop shooting helicopters, fine by me. There. I'm I'm sorry, what just blew up this building? Brady. Not a fan. Oh, please don't be another run along the dock section. Well, sucks to be that building. That's that. Now we get Ada. Copy that. guys aren't. Hello, dead bird. Roger. Think this is where they've been developing the C-Virus?
Alpha team to HQ. Come in. We're in pursuit of Ada Wong. No use hiding, Ada. Whoops. Make a run for the elevator. Go! And if you'll recall Leon's campaign. Glad you could stop in. Like what I've done with the place. Hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> Laugh while you can, Ada, because you're going down. And we made it to the elevator first. What the hell is all this? Keep your eyes peeled. Who knows what this bitch has in store? And now, if we want to preserve the timeline, we have to lose to them at this hacking minigame thing. Or locked in. Hey, Leon, we can see you and just fine through this. Testing for prototypes. Tricks isn't going to stop us. See if you can hold those things off, Captain. I'll get us past the lock. Can do. Sorry, Leon and Helena. But we're gonna beat you. We don't need to preserve no timeline. We need loot. Room one's number one. Security breach detected in room one. Security breach detected in room one. All right, just one more. Security please. breach detected in room zero. Security breach detected in room one. Yeah, that's right. Engaging lock in room one. Room one's number one. No time to waste. Someone doesn't want us to catch Ada. She might not be working alone. I'm on it. And we have created a time paradox. Give it up, Ada. It's over. Oh, is the big bad soldier gonna shoot me? <coughs> That's been fun. And again with the double smoke grenade. Pierce. Yeah, dead bird. As far as we're aware, Ada is the big bad evil. There she person. is. Cut her off. I've got her.
I'm honestly amazed they resisted QTEs for that sequence. Chris? Leon? What are you doing here? Put your gun down, Chris. She's a key witness. We need her. A witness? She's the one who did all this! No, it wasn't her. It was Simmons, the National Security Advisor. I lost all my men because of her! And I lost over 70,000 people, including the President, because of Simmons. She's working for Neo Umbrella. You know what that means? Yeah, I do. And you're still going to protect this woman? I am. Same thing here. All right. The BSAA will handle Ada. You take care of Simmons. Chris! I know you'll do the right thing. She's making a break for the harbor. Get in! Hey, Pierce. Said about me hiding from my past. You were right. Captain? Catch up to her? Don't stop until I do. Oh boy, a this is Pierce car Simmons. shooting section. Ada Wong is moving south towards the military port. Advising you know, all personnel to be on the alert. These segments are exactly what people come to Resident Evil games for. I've had enough of these stupid games. Trucks like these had turbo. I'm pretty sure her car should be able to outspeed this. Sorry, civilian. Give up, Ada. We got you. Out of here, dudes. Given that you found the turbo button on a truck, I have to believe you. Alpha, come in! This is 
Turbo again. Captain, there's a train coming. Thank goodness for conveniently parallel train tracks. So, uh, Pierce, you gonna use that turbo pedal again? No? We're done? Pierce? I can... Wow, these are really low-velocity bullets. Really low-velocity. Wow, nice miss, dude. Why am I peers now? Can I be... Chris. I, I want to be Chris. Oh, wait. I am Chris. It's just the camera is on Piers. Okay, I've been doing this very wrong. Why was the camera over freaking Pierce's shoulder? I was convinced that we were in control of Pierce. Like, look at this. What part of this says, oh yeah, you're still Chris, by the way. Yeah, I was like firing a single shot and then waiting for him to be done with his recoil, firing again, etc. But that is not what the game wanted me to do. It was just pretending we were peers. Hey, grab your gun. I'm taking the wheel. Hey, I thought I'm taking a shortcut. I thought Piers was the best driver the BSAA had, Chris. There we go. She's not getting away again. You're not gonna lose us, Ada. So Chris also knows where the turbo button is on a truck.
got away. What was I supposed to do? I was going as fast as I could, wasn't I? There we go. She's not getting away again. You're not gonna lose that thing up. I'm I'm holding the accelerator. Oh, did I take a wrong turn somewhere or something? Like, she is going way faster than us. What gives? How am I supposed to keep up with her? Shit! What am I supposed to do? to the metal here. I cannot be holding R2 anymore. And like I'm boosting as soon as I can. What do you want from me, game? Am I doing something wrong? And if so, what in the hell is it? There we go. She's not getting away again. So like are my controls wrong? Is that what it is? Cause like You're not gonna lose us, Ada! Wow, those are solid. thing that I can think of here there we go is she's not getting away again like you can rebind your controls in this game You're not gonna lose us, which means it can't be expecting an analog r2 trigger can it Like, we don't go any faster if our boost is available and we're not using it. And if we use the boost, then we go fast and then we slow down a bit. And yet, like, the accelerator needle isn't going past where it is Shit. right now, except when we boost. So maybe it is expecting an analog input and just the way, but it can't expect an analog input because this can be played with oh, keyboard and mouse. Away. How am I supposed to do this? There we go. Like we keep losing her at the same place. She's not getting away again. Uh, no, Deadbird, I have to hold R2 to move forward. And I am, in fact, holding R2, and it is moving us forward. 
And as far as I can tell, there's no other button to make go. And like... Yeah, this game can be played with a mouse and keyboard, so it can't be expecting an analog input. And the way this game treats R2 and L2, I had to actually swap them at the Steam level and then also swap them in the game level to make it work. What in the hell? It, it's always the same place too, so like... I don't want to say no to continuing, because then we'll be completely boned here, because I'd have to redo the whole chapter. So, like... Shit. Hang on. I'm going to swap to mouse and keyboard controls for a bit, see if maybe that'll help. I have no idea there what buttons go. I'm going to press. Uh, right mouse? R? She's not getting away again. Okay, R to do that. Accelerator left click. Oh, this is, us, this is terrible. Uh, what's my boost button? Space. Okay, what? Our speed is now higher than it was before. What even? So I guess the issue was in fact that I was using a controller that was not an Xbox controller. Okay, but now our speed is low, but now it's going up because it was low because we were going up a hill, I see. So uh, the secret to this section, I suppose, is you are not allowed to use a PlayStation controller. Use of a PlayStation controller equals failure, plain and simple. Jumping? Alright, well now I'm allowed to use my PlayStation PlayStation controller again. Hey, chapter done. Good. Honestly, at this point, I'm also done. Between the running across the docks thing and then this stupid no PlayStation controllers allowed car section. Yeah, I am. I'm tapped out. <laughs> That's going to be it for this stream. Join us next time, which should be on Monday when we'll finish Chris's campaign. See you then, friends.